And I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out of the game. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire to fly. We used to rapping like that. you can see, I just finished watching the eulogy. Now I, I gotta bring it from you to me, truthfully. <sighs> Tori got laid down beautifully. And um, yeah, it's a couple of things that uh, you know, I, I wanna talk about, you know, but 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 chess caught a royal body, body after body after body. I'm shape shifting. Uh yeah, so I uh, was watching this joint, you know what I'm saying, just skimming back through it to see if I had missed anything. Yeah, Tori, Tori, uh, Tori, 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 you got body. Uh, I don't know if you know this. Uh, salute to the subscribers that notification gang first and foremost. Um, Rice Gangs out of my Shopify.com. Log on for the merchandise. Yeah, yeah, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Salute to my man Showtime SP. Um, so yeah, I, I tried, I tried, I tried. Um, for those who haven't seen it yet, it came out on the app. I actually thought that this battle could have went straight to YouTube. It, it's not even really, it's not app worthy. Um, Tori's first round, she was all right. You know what I'm saying? Like she went too bad, but she was, it wasn't crazy. Chess comes out his first round. He just starts wigging. I came to do this in your era. I'm here for the territory. He just starts doing Tory flips, everything you learn from mentor. Uh, he started talking about her being a dyke, plastic, taking trick, you used to that fake ish. Like, it, it was over. And the whole battle was probably over in about four bars. About four to eight bars, battle was over. I, you kind of seen where this was going. Uh, she's, uh, he, he wilds out in the first. Uh, she has mic issues, choking, stumbling, mic issues, my mom, my mic not working, she tried to put the jacket on, she tried to take the jacket off. It was just not a good showing at all. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, it was, it was, it was not. I mean, I've seen her in some way better battles, but this situation was a little, it was a little over, it was over her head, I'm not even gonna hold you, it was definitely over her head. Uh, on a night where... You know, he was doing the ladies versus gents, you know what I'm saying? Ladies was battling gentlemen, you know what I'm saying? It was the royalty card, and you know, I could, I, I don't want to go too negative and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I, I salute to Debo and them for trying to put together. I see what they was trying to do, and in some of the matchups, it actually was, it took, it was fire, you know what I'm saying? I liked Rum Nitty versus Official, you know what I'm saying? I liked um, the two-on-two. -two. Even though some people try to give it flack, I did like the two-on-two. -two. But uh, this one was just a stone cold body bag. I don't even have to have notes. I don't. I, I don't. I don't need. There's what? What notes do I need? I don't need any notes for this. Um, it just continues to show Chess's meteoric rise. How Chess has been evolving since his downtime. You know what I'm saying? When he was down in the dumps. And I think I can honestly say what I think it was for Chess is that the game was getting too easy for him. And it, this happens to people when when the game gets too easy and you're catching, you know, good battles, you're catching wreck and everybody's wanting to throw you money, money, money. This person wants to battle you. This person wants to battle you. After a while, you, when you you could prepare less, but still have the same result. And I think the game had got a little ahead of him because he was just like, yo, if I come out, give y'all some good shit, y'all gonna love it anyway. And I'm gonna just move on. But then. He started battling better competition, and then he wasn't prepared. So he was stumbling over his rounds. His, his shit wasn't really hitting like that. And, you know, Chess went through a, a, a slump. But now he sees that preparation, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be prepared. You gotta bring three rounds. You gotta not play. You gotta not play with them. 
chess, you can't play with him. And um, I, I've been very proud of what Chess has been able to do because he's showing us, he's showing us that this is all smoke. Whoever wants it can get it. And um, he's got John John and Don next. I know everybody's calling for the k Sean battle. Everybody wants to see k Sean, k Sean, k Sean. I'm sure that's going to happen, but it should happen on a big card. You know what I'm saying? Big card, big stage, big event. Gnome, Summer Madness. It should be on something like that because the way they've built it up, they've been talking. And I know K-Shine says something like, oh, you got to have like three battles in a row. That's good before I'll take you. Um, <laughs> Shine, I don't know if you've been paying attention. I don't know if you've been listening. I don't know if you've been watching. But Chester had about five or six good battles. So, I mean, that, that narrative is kind of like in the backseat. You, really, you can't really have that narrative anymore because Chess has shown, shown what he can do. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to see them two get it on. But let's see what he does versus John John. I, I was the one that brought up the fact that although Chess has made his return, he has been having good battles, he's been on fire, it's all been in small rooms. Besides the two-on-two. -two. But the two-on-two -two was crazy too. He did stand in the two-on-two. I'm not going to hold you. Uh, I did like the courage that he showed in the two-on-two -two when they first come out on stage. You know, more veteran MCs, they'll play the back role, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're just chill, they'll talk their stuff. But Chess went right over into that corner. I'm from Corlin Ave, I'm from Corlin Ave. I ain't scared of none of y'all, I ain't scared of none of y'all. He kind of like, that kind of like cemented some of his comeback type. He was like, yo, I'm not afraid of nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here, I'm here. And you know, the, the shell cases and poof, 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 target neutralized. They, they was wild in two on two. Um, so we'll see, but for those who wanted to know, I've seen people asking, Tori Doe, body bag, 3-0, nothing really much to talk about. I don't even have to take notes. It's nothing really much to talk about. I'm going to be honest with you guys, man. Like, that's just, that's just the way it goes. I mean, you know, I wish I had more, but I, I just don't got more, baby. You got, you got body, big baby, big baby. Go find that man. Don't come back to you. Find that man. I don't know if she could, I don't even know if she could battle dudes no more. She's going to have to. Uh, it, that's not for us. Battling dudes ain't for everybody. That's the reason why we kept saying e hard should have been on it, e hard should have been on it. But you know what? I'm going to let that be what it is. I'm not going. I'm not pushing the issue, you know what I'm saying? It'll be what it is. Um, I know people have been asking, people been saying, yo, it's two events on the same day. It's two events on the same day. RBE oh, got an event. URL got an event. Here's the thing, right? This is not the first time two leagues have had an event on the same day. While it is petty, yes, it is petty. We know that. Come on, we know it's petty. But leagues have had events on the same day. The last King of the Dot event was on the same day as uh, Tay Rock versus Rex. You know what I'm saying? Like, the way it works is this is my suggestion. You know what I'm saying? Because people ask, what would you do? What would you do? How you going? Y'all going to catch everything? Yes, we will catch everything. We will watch. Me and Showtime SP, we put a consummate effort into making sure that we watch the battles, recap the battles to the best of our ability, because I know everybody's not in a position. Some people got family, got life, got things that they just can't afford to just drop 30, drop 40, drop 50. Some people can't even afford to drop eight. We don't judge anybody. It's a judgment-free zone. So what we do is we try to bring you the best recaps that we possibly can by watching the material. So what I do in situations like that, I do support both. I got the king of the diet, and I had to respect the shooter. We recap both events. Now, they might not happen as fast as you may want because you got two events going on at the same time. So what we'll do is we'll watch one and then, you know, or, or what we've done in the past is like when there's two events, one person will watch one, one person will watch the other, or we just watch all of one and then the next day we watch the next one because we usually drop the recaps as things are happening. But don't worry, we do got it. Um, what, as I, what I think about the competition, I think it's good. Like, why, why would we be mad about more content? You know what I'm saying? When Christmas Day NBA comes on, it's eight games. You know what I'm saying? Are we going to watch all eight? Or it's like maybe four or five. It's like four or five. Let me not exaggerate. But it's like four or five games on the same day. Like, yo, if you're a fan of it, you're going to find time. I'm going to find time to watch New Jersey Twerk versus Gigi Gotti. And I'm going to find time to watch A Ward versus Danny Myers. I'm going to find time to watch Ill Will versus 40 Cal. I'm going to find time to watch uh, Arsenal versus T Top. You know what I'm saying? It's just a commitment. We'll literally just spend a day or two, 
watching them all and then we'll talk about them and then we'll recap and then people will, you know what I'm saying, will give their reaction and so on and so forth. I'm not mad anyway because, you know, cha-ching, I'm going to get paid off, you're going to get paid off one lady, I'm going to get paid off the next one too, so it don't even matter. I'm going to watch both. If there's another event going on there in that time, I'm going to watch that too, you know what I'm saying, because that's just what we do as far as with the, um, with the recaps and thing. We try to keep this channel about battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Battle rap and battle rap ping. Not to really try to bring negativity, put negativity in the air. Like, I don't, it's just something that I'm not doing. It's a new year. Everybody has a new year's resolution. They want to do this, they want to do that. The next thing you know, it's just like, like going in the next direction. No, I'm going to stay with what I got going on. I know, you know what I'm saying? It may be difficult at times, but it is what it is. I'm strictly here about the battle rap, the battles and the rap ping. Everything else, it doesn't even hit my radar. So, um, I seen that New Jersey twerk is battling against bad news on the Guardians of the Culture card coming up. Um, I seen that they got the two on two on there too. They got K-Shine versus uh, Big Cannon. And then you got Respect the Shooter. I've seen that they got Shotgun Shug versus Loso. They've got Bill Collector versus um, Arsenal. And they've got Twerk versus Chef Trez. Like, these one thing I will say about the smaller leagues, some of these smaller leagues are booking big, Battles, dog. Like these are some fire. I think they got adverse Dre Dennis on Guardians. Of when y'all start booking like that, when y'all start booking like that, like those, <laughs> I like some of those battles. I'm not gonna hold it. I'm gonna watch them too. You know what I'm saying? I think that as fans, uh, the competition between leagues is definitely a good thing because it's like, yo, they're they're giving us more for our money. Boom. Booking bigger battles, booking bigger names, giving us the people that we want to see, and we're gonna. Who's not gonna watch them? You know what I'm saying? We have to um, continue to watch. It's a lot of work at times, but you know we make it happen. We, we're gonna make it happen one way or another. We continue to make it happen because when you're put in that position, you're gonna watch them, you're gonna recap them, people are gonna love them. But overall, this is about Chess versus Tory. Though the battle was such a body bag that I could go on and talk about some other shit, and then double back to the fact that yo. The body bag got put into a body bag, got zipped up, burned, and then put into another body bag. Rest in peace to the homie, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it was it was bad. Um, so if anybody's looking for it, uh, I would suggest waiting until it drops on the tube. If you haven't seen it, you can see it when it drops on YouTube. I mean, I was watching it again. I got through like Summer Chess first round, and it was like just too much. I seen it when it happened on pay-per-view too. So yeah. Other than that, you already know what we're doing, what it does, so you gotta ask what it was. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, more merchandise is coming. Um, all of the orders that was previously ordered will be heading out this week. Um, it's been a lot, but got it done, and you already know what it's doing, what it does, so you gotta ask what it was. <sighs>